Hello everyone, you're welcome once more to NBA. If you are new to the channel, you're welcome to the channel. Do hit the subscribe button and share the link of the channel to somebody out there. All right, so today let's look at this question on the board. It says, find the rate of change, okay, of the volume of the sphere. So rate of change of the volume of the sphere with respect to its radius R, okay? Now, when you come across such statements, okay, it means we have, you know, you know, looking at calculus, okay? If you have been able to go to, you know, uh, the playlist, you know, on this YouTube channel to watch the videos on calculus, you know, you should be able to have some idea, okay, on this, or if you have been watching the videos on calculus. So, like, uh, if you watch the videos on calculus, you see that I've said, that you know, calculus you know, has to do with mostly when you talk about differentiation, it has to do with what things like rate of what change. Okay, now let's go through the question. Now, a sphere looks like what an egg or oval shape. And what you need to make up this sphere is what you need four cycles. Okay, you need four cycles to make up what. The total surface area of what is fair. Okay, so if I say total surface area is equals, remember, one circle is pi r square, this pi r square, this pi r square, this is pi r square. So we have pi r square plus pi r square plus pi r square plus what pi r square. So if we add all this, we have what four pi r square. This is the total surface area, but what about the volume? Okay. Now for the volume of this sphere, okay, it is one third, okay, of this total surface area multiplied by what? The radius. Okay. So we have the volume, okay, as one third. Now total surface we have as four pi r what square. So multiply by what r. So what would this give us? Okay. Now one four times this, we have it as what? One times four divided by three, because one times four divided by three. So pi, okay. So r squared times r is going to give us what? R raised to the power of what? Two plus one. So since this has the power of what? One, okay. So, <clears throat> Now we have the volume of our sphere, okay? The volume of the sphere with respect to what R as what? The volume of the sphere, one times four is four divided by what? Three. So we have our pi multiplied by what? R raised to the power of what? Three. So we have the volume of what? This fair with respect to R as this formula. Now, how do we find the rate of change? Whenever you come across the word rate of change, they are simply telling you to do what? Do your dv over what? The R, okay? Because this time around, we are dealing with volume with respect to what? Radius. So, we are meant to what? Look for what? Our dv, okay? The rate of change of volume to so change of volume with respect to R. Okay, so it's like saying we have change of what volume with respect to what change of what R. All right, so we are going to quickly okay differentiate this the volume with respect to what the radius. So, how do we do that? We can say our dv over what the R. We are going to use the general formula method. So, all we need to do this is going to come here, okay. To multiply this, okay. So I have pi, and why this comes down, we're going to add what one to that what power, okay. So that is going to give us what this can cancel out. This is one, one. So we have four times one is what four. We have our pi, okay. So we have multiplied by r raised to the power of what three plus one is what four, okay. But the question says, when R is equals to what? One, okay? So remember, our dv over what? The R, okay? 
is equal to what? 4 pi multiply r raised to the power 4. But at r equals to 1, so at r equals to 1, okay, we want to know this rate of what? Change of volume with respect to r, okay? So all we need to do is we are going to what substitute the value of what r into what this expression. So let's do that. So our dv over what the r, which is what? Our rate of change of what? Volume with respect to what? R, okay, is equal to what? So we have four times what? Four times pi. So our arrow is one, so we are going to say one raised to the power of what four. And one raised to the power of four means one times one times one into four places, which is still one. So our answer to this question is what four pi, okay? So that gives us the simple solution to this problem. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Hit the like button and don't forget to share this video out there. Okay, I will see you guys in my next video. Take care, bye.